It's really you. It's in your head. And please understand, I'm not a doctor. I have Dr. Pinkston on here. But I do think that we put it in our heads. And, and, and that's a human, that's a naturally human trait to do. But yeah. you got to dispel it. You, right. you have to own the fact that you're going to make mistakes right. and move on. So. I, told my, I told my daughter, I said, it may come from some of your upbringing and, yes. you know, no parent is perfect. I'm not perfect. Her father right. perfect. And, you know, and she was the first born and in a, you know, a different cultural family mm -hmm. and everything. And so I just tell her, I said, somewhere back, you learned that maybe you're not good enough. And, and I want you to begin to look at that and mm -hmm. unlearn that and see yourself as a very worthy, wonderful person. And that, you know, you are like everybody else. You're going to make mistakes. It's a process. You're going to learn. Look ahead. You're going to be OK. It's always been OK. It will continue to be OK. Oh, Dr. Pinkston, that is it in a nutshell. You have to unlearn. You have right. to unlearn what something happened early on that you picked that up. Yeah. And you really suck in the negative more than, oh, it was just a mistake and move on. That's so true. You have to unlearn it. Next question. Okay, next question. Oh, they're giving it to us this morning. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's from John. Says, he says, what is the regret for you? Is it okay to not regret and to only look for the future? Good question. Go, Dr. Pinkston. <laughs> you know, I think everybody's focused on regret and mistakes this morning. Yeah. Yes, this is a great topic. And so, you know, it you can't not I mean, regret can be such a bring with it such a negative connotation. And I think that there are levels of regret. I think a little bit of regret can be healthy if you look at it in an aspect of what did I do wrong? What could I have done better? to make things better and then take that lesson and move forward. But if you go to a side of regret where, you know, like we were talking about with, uh, with John, the other John that, you know, it is this a horrendous mistake. I've done something awful and it hits your confidence and it lets you take, it takes you down that more negative path. Then that's what you do need to shut down, not regret that way and only look forward. Mm -hmm. But Regret can be a very, a little bit of a, of a healthy aspect to move, yes. learn and, and begin to move forward. So you can't shut down all your feelings and just shut it off and move forward. You, you have to learn a little bit. Well, well, I think when we're saying learn from it and, and not wallowing, it's not don't stay stuck in it. Exactly. So I want to make sure that we, I am uh, conveying just, it's okay to have a little regret. I made a mistake. Okay. Right. You got to sit in it for a minute. And I do say a minute, a minute and you learn from it and then move on exactly. because it's going to attack your confidence. The more you sit there and ponder over it and deal with it and keep reliving it, it's yeah. going to attack your confidence, which is ultimately going to attack your your future right. or your your current present state. So you have to kind of sit in it, but move on. There are many people who take negative things that happen to them, experiences, and just stuff it down and yeah. just deal with it and just just trudge forward. It will come back to haunt you, though. Yes, you got to deal with it. You, you got to deal with it because mm -hmm. it's going to match you at some point. Just don't deal with it too hard. Like you say, wallow in it and and take it on in, in negatively for for long periods of time you've got to really focus and deal with it in a very positive fashion as much as you can and yes and move on